Not every criminal in prison dies inside those walls, but some criminals get a chance to see the world again, but not the world they left. Here we go, a few people who have lived a long life in prison and got the chance to re-enter the world after completing their sentence. So stick around till the end, find out if they got lucky or unlucky. But before we move on, please take a second to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to not miss any updates. Now without further ado, let's dive in. Number 1. Joseph Ligon Ligon is one of America's well-known longest prisoners who was sadly convicted of a crime at the age of just 15. It was on the day of February 20th at 1053 in Philadelphia when Joseph was caught in the act of robbery alongside his teen gang. They were making these robberies to buy alcohol. Despite being a minor, Ligon was not allowed any legal representation or even family visits throughout his time in prison. The police officers even gave the teenagers some confessions to sign. Although Ligon and his mate didn't take anyone's life, still, they all got convicted of first degree and sentenced to life in prison without any chance of release. His attorney, Bradley Bridge, mentioned that if his case went to trial today, Ligon would have only gotten a sentence of 5 to 10 years. It also highlighted how flawed the legal system of America was back then. However, Ligon got his parole in 2021 when he was 83 years old. It's not a few days or a few years, but Ligon spent seven decades within the walls of a prison. Re-entering the world after such a long time may have been disturbing for him. Number 2. Charles Edret Ford Sometimes it's not your fault, but it's the time that's against you. The same is the case with Ford, who spent 64 years of his life in prison without even being an actual criminal. He was convicted to have done some mesmerizing acts using a car that was registered in his name. Well, actually, Ford didn't have any idea whose car that was. Worst of all is that he wasn't even allowed to prove his innocence or tell the court that he was not even there at the scene of the crime. Yet poor Ford got first degree probation and after a few years, he was assaulted by the second degree of law. It was by his luck that a kind lawyer, Harrington, discovered in 2016 that Ford's lawyer failed to appear for a review of his sentence. She also came to know the unjust decisions of the court that were against the law. Due to this reopening of the case, Ford finally got a chance to be free of all the accusations opposed on him. The actual criminal, Jack Robinson, confessed his guilt. Number 3. Johnson Van Dyke Grigsby Johnson had a stroke of really bad luck with his life sentence in prison. Not only was he sentenced to life in prison, but he also got voluntarily returned to prison after serving a sentence. He was sent to prison after killing a drunk man in a bar when they both ended up in a fight. Johnson was denied parole 33 times before his final release. It was at the time of 1974 when he was released after a long prison sentence of 66 years. But with unadjustable situations with a society he had not been a part of for nearly seven decades, things got harder for him. He found difficulty in coping with the day-to-day -day life finding a job, he went back to prison where he spent 17 more months before his release at the age of 91. However, he served at a medical camp for the rest of his life until his death at the age of 101. Number 4. Richard Honeck Richard Honeck was the first prisoner to attract widespread media towards him. He was nearly 20 years old when he got arrested. He along with his friend killed a former teacher in 1899. The two men were involved in taking revenge for something. His first year at prison was not good enough, so he was moved to Southern Illinois Penitentiary, where he worked in a prison bakery for about 35 years. After a long period of 64 years in prison, Honeck was finally released in 1963. Upon the intervention of his niece Clara Orth, after his release from prison, Orth took care of him and left her job to look after her uncle. When he then shifted to a nursing home due to his poor medical conditions, there he spent the last five years of his life, and he eventually died in 1976. Number 5. Francis Smith Smith didn't have a good history with the law ever since he was a teenager. He had his first interaction with the law at the age of 13 when he assaulted a guard and escaped. As he grew up, 
He got involved in many criminal activities along with his crime partners. However, things changed in 1949 when Smith was caught for his part in killing a night watchman. He was nearly the age of 24 at that time. During his sentence, he managed to escape in 1967. He was also on parole for about 10 months before coming right back to those four scary walls of prison in 1975. On the day of Smith's execution in 1954, investigator Leo Carroll announced that he had been wrong. He testified that it's not known whether Smith was present at the time of the crime or not. The key witnesses also admitted they lied. On further inquiry, it came out that the police forced him to lie. This resulted in Smith's release in 2020 when he reached the age of 96. Number 6. Paul Geidel Jr. Paul Geidel had a traumatic childhood experience. He got orphaned at the age of only 7. He also dropped out of school when he was 14 years old, but he chose to work for a living. He worked at a bellhop in Hartford, New York. In 1911, Geidel targeted a guest staying at the hotel he was working at. He sneaked into the guest room and killed him for money. But later, he got caught and sent to prison for 20 years. He faced a breakdown in prison in 1919. After eight years of his life there, he was then sent to the ward where he spent another seven years of his life. He was so lucky to be granted parole in 1974, but the guy rejected his parole and he chose to stay in prison for another six years of his life. However, he got his release from prison in 1980. He spent the next few years of his life in Dutchess County nursing home at the age of 93 years old. Number 7. John Phillips Back in 1952, John Phillips was accused of sexually assaulting a 5-year-old girl when he was 18 years old. The medical report suggests that he had the brain function of a 7-year-old. However, ignoring all the prominent pieces of evidence, the court convicted him with a life sentence. He was sent to prison and moved to different prisons with minimum security throughout his time of punishment. However, when his family found that they had reopened the case for Phillips' release, but Phillips didn't want to leave the prison at that stage, he was so used to that prison life that he chose to stay there for the rest of his life. However, he got his parole in 2021 after spending 68 years in prison. His parole will end in 2026. We hear many more astonishing cases like these few. If you love watching this type of video, we got you covered. All you need to do is subscribe to our channel and support us so we can make the best content for you. Till next time, take care.